So here it is then, the long awaited review of grokking algorithms. If you want a kind of TLDR for this video, then it's a good book. I like it, but it's not for everybody. Who's it for? It's for beginners. So if you have experience with algorithms, you're not gonna learn much from this book. You might learn a bit, but you're not gonna learn much. This is not a textbook that goes into a lot of detail into algorithms. Rather, today's sponsor, Doctec Domains, is helping to make computer science education more accessible. And I'm gonna tell you more about that at the end of the video. It's a nice high level overview of the subject aimed at people that have never looked at or considered algorithms before. I'll just move that mic a bit closer. So if that's you, if you have perhaps taught yourself to code and you know you don't come from a computer science background, but you're getting better at coding, it's probably time that you started thinking about algorithms and how they work and why they work and when they should be implemented and what sort of algorithm is good for certain problems. And this would be a great introduction. In fact, if you're a computer science student that's struggling with algorithms, I don't know, perhaps you have a humanities background and you've moved across to computer science and you're, you're just not getting algorithms, uh, you know, you don't really understand them, then it would be worth reading this and, you know, getting an overview of it. It's a bit like uh, what a popular science book is, you know, to science. So what a, a popular science book on relativity is to physics, this is to algorithms. A nice high level introduction. But it does go into some detail. So I'll just tell you what it covers. Uh, let's have a look. I go through the content. So you get binary search, big O notation, selection sort, talks about recursion, and then quick sort, hash tables, Bread, uh, bread first search, Dijkstra's algorithm, greedy algorithms, dynamic programming, and K nearest neighbors. And then it gives you some ideas about where to go after that. And where it covers certain subjects, it gives you the intuition, it tries to explain why the algorithm works in a certain way. The, the author, Adichar Bhargava, really breaks it down. And there's code as well. So as you go through this book, uh, it's probably worth having a, an IDE open somewhere and just coding through the examples, breaking them down yourself, reading through the notes and, and really trying to understand them until you can reproduce those algorithms without having to look at the text and you understand exactly why they work. So this book is for you if you're new to algorithms or you find algorithms just a bit difficult. Perhaps you've been introduced to them badly the first time. I think this book would work well for you. Just to give you an idea of the style, if you look at the recursion section here, this is how it's done. So it's full of nice little illustrations like that. And that's fairly typical of the book all the way through. I really like it. I really like this book and I think for the right person, it would be ideal. So if you're new to programming, if you're new to coding, if you haven't yet studied algorithms and you want an introduction to what they are, how they work, I would say this is a nice introductory book and then you can delve deeper into sort of more technical books, but this would be a very good way to start. But if you know about algorithms already, then this isn't the book for you because you really won't learn very much from it at all. Manning's a really good publisher. They've got some great titles. Uh, there's Grokking um, Deep Learning, which I'd like to read shortly as well. I'll have to add it to the list. I've got a few that I want to get through uh, before that. And also when you buy this, you get a free ebook with it as well, which is you know pretty handy. So I hope that helps. And you know if you've read the book and you have an opinion on it, then leave that in the comment section too, because that will help other people decide on whether or not this is the right book for them. See you next time. I still remember the feeling when I first learned to code. It was like a superpower. I could get a computer to do anything I wanted it to do. Unfortunately, one in two children, mostly from underrepresented groups, never get the opportunity to pursue their own interests in computer science in school. Today's sponsor, Dot Tech Domains, along with Namecheap, are donating all of the proceeds from their Dot Tech Domains in the months of May and June to code.org. To find out more and get your own Dot Tech Domain, visit the link in the description below.